Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Angie and here on my channel I do all things homemaking. I hope you enjoy the video today. I'm going to be sharing two low carb meal ideas and I'm also going to do a little update on how my garden is going. So I hope you'll join me and I hope you enjoy the video. to start this first meal which is sliders and radishes and I'm gonna start by making the radishes while the little burgers are cooking on the grill so I usually start this with four to six pieces of bacon that I'm gonna cut into pieces and I'll start frying those in the skillet I'm just gonna go ahead and get my radishes cleaned up. So I'm gonna put them in this colander and wash them. I'll go ahead and get my bacon going. Here I'm just cutting the ends off of the radishes and then I'm going to cut each of them in half and then I'm going to use my little veggie chopper to cut them into small pieces. When you cook the radishes, the peppery taste cooks out of them and they have the texture of a potato. They really don't have a lot of flavor, so I'm adding different things in here to flavor them. I am adding onion along with the bacon and also I'm going to be adding some garlic powder, some salt and pepper. It'll absorb all these different flavors. And then you just cook them as you would hash brown potatoes until they're tender to your liking. So this is the garlic powder. And then I decided to add some smoked paprika here, and it was actually really good. So I'm going to mix that up good. In the background here, these are some slider buns that I made. I've made these in one of my meal prep videos and I'll leave the link below. I just didn't want to repeat a recipe on here. So these, this is a really good recipe for buns. And I'm just trying to get them unstuck from the pan here. I probably didn't spray them good enough, but they actually came out pretty nicely. Now I'm deciding to add some garlic parmesan seasoning. I think it's the Kinder brand that you can get at Sam's Club. So 
So my sliders are thawed out, so I'm going to add some of this buttery steakhouse seasoning that I also got at Sam's Club. This has a really good flavor. I'm going to stick these little burgers on the grill and I'm going to let the radishes continue to cook. I do the, the sliders four minutes on each side. So here's what they look like when they're done. And this is the meal. So now I'm moving on to the chicken euro bowls. These are also low carb. I'm going to start by cutting up an onion here. And I'm just going to get all the different parts of the bowl ready to go while my chicken is cooking. Now I'm going to cut up two zucchini squashes, so I'm just going to cut, cut them into force and then dice them into cubes, and then I'll cook them in a skillet till they're tender. If you don't like zucchini, you can use other vegetables like uh, colored peppers. You can cook. You can add olives to this. Um, pretty much anything you want to. So now I'm going to just cut up some tomato, cherry tomatoes here. So now we're moving over to the skillet. I'm going to start cooking these zucchini while I get my chicken ready to go. So this is just cooking in some olive oil with salt and pepper. If you want, you can add other seasonings to it. And the way I do my chicken is I always uh, butterfly it. And then I like to put it in a bag with some type of oil-based dressing to marinate. But I, I find out when we do it this way, um, it seems to cook more evenly and it gets done quicker. And we just like the smaller pieces of chicken. So I'm going to get these all butterflied. And then I'm going to add them to, or I'm going to yeah, pat them off 
and put salt and pepper on them on both sides. And then I'm going to add them to a Ziploc bag here. And you can use balsamic vinaigrette if you want. I'm going to use Italian dressing. I'm just going to give a few generous squirts here. And then I'm going to try to get most of the air out of the bag. And then just let it sit for a few minutes. While I get my grill heated up. Okay, now I'm moving on to the tzatziki sauce. And this is not with the original recipe that I'm making. This is a sauce that I've been making for a long time. But I'm going to do half of the recipe. So this is one cup of sour cream. The original recipe calls for two cups. And then I'm going to add two, two garlic cloves instead of the four. I'll try to link this recipe below also. And then one fourth teaspoon of salt. One third cup of apple cider vinegar. One third cup of olive oil. I'm gonna mix that well. Then you're gonna, if you're doing half a recipe, one half of a medium cucumber. You just want small enough chunks for it to fit into the processor. And I don't blend it up real well. I like the cucumber to be in small pieces. So then you're just gonna kind of blend that together. And then I just pour it into a dish. Figured while I wait for the grill to heat up, I will show you how my flowers have progressed. This is filled out a little bit. A lot more flowers on my geranium. This is filled out a lot. I can't believe how much bigger these have gotten just in four days. A lot more flowers on this, and on this, and even the tomato plants have gotten a little taller. And when I bought these, there were no blooms on them, which in another video I'm going to do my fairy house and I'm going to plant these on top of it. So that'll be in a video coming up soon. What, what do you have to say, huh? So this is filling out more. That's gotten taller. And I added this little hosta here because there was an empty space I wanted to fill in. And these I still need to plant. We got a good rain yesterday, so that kind of revived everything. But that's going in this barrel, but we this barrel's from last year, and I found out there was like an ant nest in there, so I'm gonna 
dump it out and put new soil in and there's some ant killer you can mix in with your soil because I've had a, that last year that big pot over there had ants in it so I'm gonna mix some of that ant killer in there also so I got this bed pretty much cleaned out a few days ago yesterday we went to my nephew's wedding so it was a fun day um, but it's been kind of raining off and on since then I cleaned out this whole bed the same day I did this bed so and I put this fountain area back together because it was kind of the bricks were kind of falling apart and stuff so I cleaned that out and I'm gonna plant flowers around that and I'm just gonna work my way back that's a pile of tall grass and weeds that, that I pulled the other day so I'm gonna clean this whole area out and just work my way around the yard so I'll continue to update at the end of some of my videos. Now I'm gonna go get the chicken ready. Got the chicken going. And so that should cook four minutes on both sides, on each side. So I'm getting hungry, it smells good. Chicken should be done. Now I'm going to just start cutting the chicken into strips. Which you can do strips or cubes, however you want to do it. And then I'll put everything into individual dishes so that we can spoon out what we want into our Euro bowls. Here I'm going to show you how I do mine. So I add a little bit of the squash. And just do it in different sections here. And then some of the tomato. a nice summertime dish. Then I'll add a little onion. And then I'm gonna add the tzatziki sauce. Kind of drizzled over the top of it. Just 
gives it another layer of flavor here. And that's what it looks like. Thank you for joining me today. I'm so glad that you stopped by and I hope you'll join me on my next video. Thank you for your support and have a great week. Bye.